What's going on guys? Gomes here back again on another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. Today we have uh, some sort of update. We might just have a singular update. There could be more things in it. I'm not sure. I do know we have a really, really good uh, new headliner. So uh, before we get into that one, make sure to leave a like down below on this video. Definitely helps me out. Subscribe if you guys are new because we are going to open all five headliner packs regardless and uh, we're probably not gonna pull anything so it would ease the pain a little bit so what we know is there's a really good fucking 98 Jesus Lizardo oh good lord okay yep that's kind of what I was anticipating yep Yep, these are really good per nines. This is going to be a top pitcher in the game. 95 stamina, 104 hit 9, 98 K9, 87 BB9 with 90 overall control. He has basically the best repertoire you could really ask for. Maybe, uh, would I like to see a cutter here? Uh, yeah, I guess. But the two breaking balls are going to help a bunch. He has a change up. He, as far as outlier goes, is not going to have any, uh, any of them. Is that the case? Uh, my eyes working correctly that does indeed seem to be the case so I think that helps him out the four seams gonna go about 99 topping out the sinkers can top out at about 95 if you give him outlier on that sinker which is what I thought they would do uh, those two pitches would go at the same velo you don't necessarily want that yes uh, bigger sounds better but uh let again look at texas when's the last time the rangers have won a goddamn thing and let's not even talk about the houston astro ricks they win but fucking cheating while doing it so lizardo looks like an amazing pitcher i'll try to get gameplay with him i imagine he's gonna go for a quite stout price um coming out of these headliner packs probably one of the best future star cards that we're going to see i don't remember exactly where lizardo Zardo stacks up as far as the top prospect list, uh, but he is definitely up there. Uh, it's going to be curious to see. I still would not be surprised if they do drop an inning program, or uh, I think Ants and I were talking about it in one of his streams that... Uh, Maybe they drop a new timers program alongside, like, how they had the all-timers program. Something like that. They put, like, uh, maybe Wander Franco, maybe Gavin Lux, and Nate Pearson. I don't know. Just a thought. Maybe that could be cool. Otherwise, they might do an inning program for some of those really top prospects. It does not look like we have an update to the schedule yet. So, uh, let's go ahead and gamble all our stubs away. Uh, and no. I did not gamble 300k worth or however much I had before we did investing roster update prediction shall be coming in real hot until those subscription boxes I would approximate within a couple hours so uh, there's a lot of potential diamonds a lot of potential golds a lot of potential stubs to be made so make sure hit the notification bell and get ready for that video then you guys know the deal we're gonna open up a 10 pack bundle uh, but yeah uh, we've been investing a lot. I, I'm feeling pretty good uh, about these uh, picks. Hopefully we should uh, double, even triple the amount that we did put into it. And at that point, uh, I'm set for a bit of an early retirement. I shouldn't have to muddle out here flipping cards, really. Uh... Hopefully I should just lie back and enjoy the fruits of my labor and get the cards that I want to. That's what I'm hoping for. So uh, I'd also hope for some good, uh, I don't know, some good RNG out of these packs right here. Last pack opening. We went three for five on headliners. Did we pull the headliner? No. But we didn't pull diamonds. Were the diamonds good? No. Well, one was Bellinger. So that was pretty good. We get Tayrod right there. Uh, again, leave another update. How is your team doing so far? The Rays, uh, we dropped one against the Blue Jays yesterday, I do believe. Uh, my twins, on the other hand, have been rolling. Uh, they did beat uh, Milwaukee. I think it was Milwaukee. Might have been Kansas City. It was a team. I think it was Milwaukee, though. Uh, Sano finally did something. Uh I, I don't know. Sano's a weird character. Uh, this entire season is full of weird characters. Let's go low. Okay. Expected. Even last time. We didn't go five for five. All right. So, four more to go. Four more chances for... Fuck. Okay. That could have been cool. That could have been pretty cool. All right. We get, uh, we get the better Seeger, I would believe. And it's coming hot. It's... Third base? I don't care. I don't care. Oh, it's been known, I believe. Uh, either him or Bregman. 
or it's Jose Ramirez. Didn't even consider that option. So, uh, of course, you guys know the prolific offense the Cleveland Indians have been displaying this year. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, that's who the Twins played last night, I think. I, I don't know. I'm just going to shut up and keep... Okay. And keep pulling these mediocre cards, man. That's the only diamond we're going to get. I have a strong feeling that's going to be the case. We get Robert, and uh, let's just round it up. Make me feel like shit, yep. We get the soon-to-be, maybe, bronze uh, Craig Kimbrell. You know, eventually, uh, all good things come to an end. He had a good career. He had a good prime. Maybe he'll come back at some point. Uh, the reliever spot's always weird in baseball. You have Sergio Romo, who's been one of the best relievers in baseball at 37 years old this year. Uh, it's a weird sport, you know, it really is. I think that's all that we did get for content. Hopefully we get a... Okay, that's too much to ask for. Uh, I appreciate it, SDS, Steven, everybody there. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to know what came out five days ago. I'll make sure and uh, put that on my to-do list. But uh, not really a huge update. We have Jesus Lazardo again. How much should he pay for this card? I don't really know. Let me take a good old gander and see uh, how much he is just going for on the market currently. Lizardo is going to go for over 100k. I do imagine he's probably going to be around there because Atlanta cards are usually kind of weird. I don't know if they stifle the odds of these or people are just hanging on. I'm not sure the reason why, but uh, this is going to be a bit expensive. My best thing I always say, people always ask me this in stream. Should I get this card? Should I spend for him? Why not? If you have the stubs, put in a buy order and get him. And if you don't like him, sell him back and you'll lose maybe tax. Uh, that's truthfully it. So uh, give it a try. You know, just like those, uh, I don't know, you know, you know, like those stuffed animals or those toys that you would see when you were a little kid going into Target or Walmart and it has like the press to try button. It's basically that shit. Just do it. You know, like Shine the Buff says. Uh, but I think that's going to do her again on Friday. It should be a bit more substantial of an update. Like I said, we have the roster update. Uh, tops now and new diamonds coming in real hot. Conquest map again. I do think with that and the Signature 2 event. Maybe you want to sell off beach ball cards, might not be a bad idea. And also, you might want to sell off your tops now players from the last set. Because I think we might get the one, the ones with Bo Bichette, the ones that just came out last time. Uh, he's really the only one going for a bunch. These other cards aren't going for that much on the market. But I think sell them off probably well, right now, I guess. Uh, that's probably what I'm going to be doing. Uh, worst case scenario, guess what? You're going to buy it back for the same price, so not really losing out on much there. That's going to do it for this one. Let me know if you guys are planning on getting Lizardo. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Happy guys. Have a great day. Thanks for